Okay, so here today we are that are beginning to drop in. This is the second DAV video of the series, and uh, the actions that I had taken on some of the uh, resources I'd mentioned in my previous videos that I'll be using. I've got uh, some results that are coming in, and we're going to take a look at those, see how it turned out, and um, kind of go through what I what what all uh, was accomplished today and uh, we'll just go from there anyway so let's get going here on the advertising what I have done is I had I have put up a text ad on MLM gateway uh, I went and tracked it now this ad I probably put up uh, yesterday uh, there was no video made yesterday however I'm gonna bring you the results of what the ads I put up yesterday have done for today. Okay. The text ad on MLM Gateway, to my surprise, which I would not have, I did not expect it to do as good as it did, but it brought in 21 leads. The only issue I'm seeing with the leads it brought in is there was only a few T1 leads. Um, you know, a lot of them were from all over the world, phone numbers that, you know, I would have to get the time zones to, to uh, find out what time they're in. So I wasn't able to work with those particular leads. I focused only on the United States and Canada leads that had came in. The blog has produced four leads so far with the helo bar and there were more leads that come in for other things i'm just counting the leads that have came in for my actual primary business um and the helo bar I have a helo bar app on there that'll generate leads and uh since the last video it has just, uh leads leap the ads I placed on Leads Leap, the um, one of the website tools that I've been using here in the beginning, has generated 25 leads, similar to MLM Gateway, only a few are T1. I ran a solo ad. Uh, it went out. Leads came in yesterday on Sunday, and there was a total of 30 leads. It, it, there may have been a little more, but uh, I do believe 30, 30 is a good number to guesstimate right now because I don't have a way to determine necessarily which ones came in from last time. So it's around 30. It's uh, give or take a, a couple. But either way, that's a pretty good amount of leads for, you know, uh, Sunday to Monday. And um, so got on the phone this evening and, and began calling them. I was able to make 19 calls. Not all the leads have phone numbers. And like I said, a lot of them were T2, T3. I don't know if they have T that far out, but I'm not able to call them until I can get their time zones. I have talked to some of them through email. A couple of them have replied asking, do we ship to their country? How can they pay? I'm not sure if they're going to be able to join because they may not have uh, the the right way to actually you know purchase product and have it sent to them, but I was able to call 19 of the leads that come in. I, I left 11 messages, sent 11 text messages. I received five uh, live answers. There was five live answers. There was a couple of those in there that were like busy, uh, you know you can't get through their wrong numbers. I, I remember there was one that was wrong and there was one that I don't even know what was the deal with it. So I didn't count it. So that's why, you know, there's says probably what it was, was two bad numbers. Uh, and that's why the numbers are offset there. But two of the calls I made, I was just not able to reach out. Uh, I did get one of the leads that called back. I talked to them for a minute and um turned out to be a genealogy lead not necessarily someone to they were already in a company they were working on something so i sent them some information on one of the systems to help them build their business and that's one of the good things about having some of the tools that i mentioned before it can help you to generate funds to to pay for advertising and stuff uh 
in total, I had sent out two emails, both of them systems to people that were already involved in something. They were happy where they were, not a problem. Sent them some information on the system. We'll see how it goes. So at the end of the day, out of those 19 calls, there were two people of interest, uh, two people that looked like, you know, uh, can become possible team members or, you know, possible people who to, to purchase something. So not too shabby, not too great. We just got, you know, this is day one, but it's gotten off to at least a decent start here. Some other online activities I did, I was able to um, get out a business announcement today. I published it as pending. We'll see if they, they, uh, they shouldn't have a problem. I've never had one turned down. So I uh, wrote a business announcement on MLM Gateway. I did the same on IBO Toolbox, wrote a press release. Of course, this video is another uh, little deal. I got my shares on Leads Leap, um, and that takes really no time at all. It's really easy. And more than my, a lot more than that. But I also uh, created an IBO press release for another member on the website, and it's a publicity activity for myself. It will help him as well. And basically what I'm doing is giving some credits uh, to publish a press release on his account. And I actually wrote it and put the, the graphics in and the links and all that with the intentions. He publishes it and then I take his link and I'll once it's published, I'll be putting it through my um, like social monkey and things like that and backlinking it to help a blog post I wrote uh, last week to rank higher. You know, the more backlinks to it, the, the better it does. The more traffic it gets, the higher up the search engines. So I've got more than just myself writing extra content to promote it. Now, also coming up, the beacons have arrived today. That was quick. I mean, I didn't expect them this soon. However, it had overnight, some sticker flew through the air overnight, two-day arrival. So that's good, but I also got an email letting me know my drop cards are coming. I mentioned earlier about using the incentives program. So that looks like everything's moving in place for that. And I also some of the tools I use, I had to set them up. There was a lot of work involved in some of them, uh, building apps and things like that. I had to build an app for like five different websites to basically uh, – in the long run, it'll pay off. Okay, just put it that way. It'll whenever I make a social media post, I'm able to just make one. They all go out, and I've got some um, extra, you know, push to help get more traffic to them. So I had to set that up in order to get it going. So here is basically the beginning of uh, taking off. You know, if if you've ever worked in a network marketing business. Uh, this really is a lit it's not a whole lot of work in, in a full day if you have a full day you you can do way much more um maybe not in the beginning because you don't have the people to call but the most important part of the day was the phone calls uh over uh, all in all and on the back end the writing the content is what has helped bring those calls in to where i can make this many calls so um it's all important but in the beginning you know you you may not see the the type of um lead generation i have and that's why i decided to start with advertising such as banner ads text ads because anybody can do that all right that would be the step one i would tell anybody and you know put an ad up on mlm gateway on ibo toolbox on leads leap and places like that to get the leads coming in because that'll be step one. That'll give you something to work with and practice with. So um, I'll leave links to those sites below in the description so you can check those out. And be sure to subscribe um, to my channel and keep up because I'll be bringing out another one tomorrow with, with the results of tomorrow. And in each video, the, the idea here is to watch it grow to see what else is happening follow it day by day, start from the beginning. I'll put a link to the very first video of this series also in the description, but be sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them because um, you want to be there when the, the person, you know, when the signups start to begin to happen, which won't take long if you watch. It, it won't take very long to start getting the next signup. 
Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook at Jay Carden Marketing, Twitter, or LinkedIn. If you're on any of those, you know, let's uh, follow me there and let's, you know, keep up with this and, you know, send me, send me your results if you find this interesting. And uh, if you are, you know, looking to, to get, or like I say, you know, that your company close. And if you're not, not happy where you're at or you want to get into it, remember, we can always partner up. There will be a link also to that in the description below. So just uh, click on it and I would, you know, love to, to uh, hook up and, and help you as well, you know, build your business. So guys, thanks for watching. Day one just went through and let's get ready for uh, the next one.